forecast. Well, Sunday turned out to be rather seasonable. It actually felt like October out there today, and it feels like October night tonight. So those temperatures are quickly falling. And as we go through this next week, though, we are going to see a repeat of the pattern we had last week. Precipitation-wise, there isn't any in the forecast. This unusually dry weather persists. Temperatures are actually going to be rising back above average and rather significantly towards the later part of this work week. Again, very similar to what we had last week. And as far as winds go, well, they were very blustery yesterday and today. But as we head into tomorrow, a little bit of a breeze, not as strong as they've been. And then the next couple of days, Tuesday, Wednesday, high pressure will pretty much keep them on the lighter side. So factor your plans in accordingly. Right now we're down to 41 degrees, so already seeing a quick drop from those 60s we had during the day. Light winds, a big part of that, and the dry air, that dew point down in the low 30s. Clear skies, that's a combination that will lead to a quick temperature drop. And I do mean clear. Look at that. There aren't any clouds around. They're way up to the north and east. We did have some earlier on Sunday, but those are long gone. Winds had been gusting up over 30, even 40 miles per hour in a few towns during the day. But notice our sustained winds now are pretty light overall, still from the northwest. Most places, though, will be near or under 5 miles per hour. Here's our upper level flow, and uh, the cooler weather today was attributed to this trough, which is a pocket of colder air in the upper levels that swept through mostly in Canada, but the southern or the base of this actually came through the Great Lakes during the day. Now it's pivoting out. That's going to allow the jet stream to flatten out again. And notice how it rises in western Canada. So a bit of a ridge here again, and this will be pushing eastward again, a lot like what we saw last week. Let's talk about the tropics. Uh, we do have this hurricane now, Milton, which is going to be a big threat to Florida, I'm afraid. It's a Category 1 tonight with top winds of 90 miles per hour. But the forecast track, we don't see this very often, but uh, this one is going to be influenced by a, a, a weak trough over the southern United States, and it's going to push it towards the east and northeast. Forecast to peak out at Category 4 strength on Tuesday, those winds over 140 miles per hour. But it appears that it may start to weaken as conditions become a little bit less favorable approaching Florida on Wednesday. Something to closely monitor if you have interest here, family, friends, uh, a lot of impacts by both wind and rain expected for the midweek. We'll keep an eye on it. High pressure to our west building in and it's going to really influence our weather the next several days as mentioned. A few high clouds coming through during the day. Tomorrow we'll get back into the 60s. And then as high pressure continues to move closer, again, lighter winds Tuesday, more sunshine, and we start that warm-up even further, climbing into the 70s again. 34 is our early Monday morning temperature. Bit of frost on the pumpkin for sure. Our Cooley region outlook shows those upper 60s for Monday, but then in the low and mid-70s, more sunshine on the way for the entire area. Look at those temperatures continue to rise through the later part of the week. Well in the 70s, we do have a shot at 80 before the next front slides through sometime on Friday. Same story, it's going to come likely through dry, Kim. So uh, days and days of dry weather, that means on these breezier days, the fire risk goes up, something we have to be concerned about as well. But no significant cool downs uh, in the forecast. Just a little taste or tease of fall, and I'll take it. Yeah, that's awesome. right. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks so much, okay. Darren.